Okay, so number three here. Why ought? Ahem. Construct the isosceles trapezoid trap with one base of length y, diagonal of length z, and side of length x. So if it's an isosceles trapezoid, what do you know about the diagonal? They're congruent. They're congruent. What do you know about the sides? One of them are parallel. Ooh. The sides are not parallel, but the bases are. So let's start with the base of length y. So I'm going to set my compass up to be the same as y. Number three. So here we go. I'll set up a base of length y. <laughs> Diagonals of length z. So I'm going to set my compass to z. Well, you guys are really fidgety, aren't you? Friday, what do you think? Friday. She's still in my stuff. So, guys, try please. Diagonals are going to be from each of the endpoints of this base, right? I don't know where they're going to go, but I know that the one's going to be that. Long could be anywhere over there. The other is going to be the same length, but it's going to be over here somewhere. So I'm just putting down all the possible places that seem reasonable for those other ends of those diagonals to be. Lastly, I know the side side does sides are of length x. So I'll copy x and I'll use x on both ends here. So again, I'll swing an arc of all the places that those sides could go. And the places where those arcs cross are the places where the other two vertices of the trapezoid have to be. Number three on the second side. It is. So these are congruent. That's the isosceles part. The diagonals were congruent. I used the same arc length there and there. So that should be trap. Trap. <laughs>